for this ornament I'm gonna use this styrofoam it's a uh, three inch in diameter and these are the fabrics that I'll be using the fat the squares I cut them two and a half inch squares by two and a half so to start what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this fabric I'm gonna lay it down and I'm gonna trace around I'm gonna leave like half an inch around it let me see something like this it doesn't have to be exact is that you just need enough fabric to pin it on the side here Now what I'm going to do, hold on. I'm gonna turn it over just like that. So this fabric is to cover the bottom part of the styrofoam. And now I'm going to pin the fabric on the sides. So now I cover the bottom part of the styrofoam. Now we're gonna take the fabric, the two and a half inch squares, and I'm gonna fold it like this, just to mark the center. Then what I'm going to do, I'm gonna fold the tip towards the inside of the fabric, and then Fold the fabric to the line that I made on the center, like that. And then the other side, fold towards the center. And then fold it again, like this. Now I'm going to check the center of the styrofoam. You can see it here. Hold on, let me get it closer. See, you can see it there. Now I'm going to pin right on top. And then pin at the bottom. If you want to save some um, pins, you can remove this one. I have one right here. That way you're gonna pin the bottom fabric and the triangle. Don't worry because then we're gonna cut this excess fabric at the end. Now I'm gonna take the red fabric, hold on. And we are going to do the same thing for the triangle, the square in a triangle. Pull the corner towards the inside and then the sides towards the inside. The other side. and then fold again. You can see what I like to do is here you can see the fold and here you can see the two edges. I like to run the fabric towards the same direction. 
We're going to put this one here. And at the top. And then we're going to pin here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pin it here. And then if I want, I can remove this pin from here. Or set your there you go. So now we are going the pattern is gonna be one blue, one red. So this last one we're gonna put it, it's gonna be a little bit tight. But I forgot to mention, hold on, I'll mention it to you now. Here where you have the fold, I like to tuck it underneath the other one. You can see here's the fold, so now we're gonna put this one here. Okay. And hold on, let me put your pins. I usually don't pin them through completely in case I have to move the fabric. I like to make sure. Okay. And if you want, you can cut. and fold it as I've done on the other videos. Fold in a triangle. Right. And I'm going to pin it. Hold up. In this case I'm going to use the measuring tape you know I usually use the width of my nails but in this case I'm going to use it and I'm going to pin this triangle an inch and a half just like this let me see if you can see no I think I can go a little bit higher than an inch and a half hold on yeah. yeah, I'm going to go a little bit higher. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. This one looks better. So I'll finish with the blue fabric and as, we, as I mentioned before, I pin, I leave one line, I pin again, one line, pin, and all the folded edges towards, the one, towards one side. Now I'm going to take the red fabric and I'm going to do the same thing, fold it in triangle. 
and then I'm gonna pin that just below the blue fabric maybe half an inch or so no one of a quarter a quarter inch sorry As you can see, putting down the triangle, just make sure that you cover all the pins. If I would like, you can see this pin, I could move it a little bit lower, but in this case, this one is gonna get covered because I'm gonna put a ribbon at the edge. But if you're not sure, oops. Then we need to put something here to cover all those pins. Now I'm going to take these two ribbons and I'm going to pin them at the bottom edge of the styrofoam. That way all those pins are going to get covered and embellish the ornament. Now I'm going to take some bead spacers and then I'm going to use them to with a push pin to pin them around or on top of the ribbon. That way it's going to hold the ribbon in place and embellish the ornament. That way you won't be able to see any pins, any regular pins. Now I'm going to put the bow right where the ribbon meets to cover that piece and at the same time it's going to be used to hold the ornament on the Christmas tree. 